How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to talk about marginal tax rates and how this affects how much you put in your 401k versus a Roth 401k or Roth IRA. Now we all know that 401ks or IRAs you can contribute a before tax amount of up to $18,000 a year. Roth IRAs and Roth 401ks you can contribute up to about $5,500 per year of after tax income into it and there's an income limit so if you make up more than $118,000 a year you won't be qualified to put money into a Roth. I made a little bit of a mistake before where I recommended to put money in a Roth account as long as you believe that your tax bracket after you retire is higher than your current tax bracket. In reality, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Here's a graph of your marginal tax rate for 2017. If you're a single filer, you have a standard deduction of $6,350. Now, this is tax-free money, okay? If you only earn $6,350 every single year, you are not going to pay any taxes on it because you take the standard deduction and you do not have to pay any taxes. However, the next bar up illustrates the next $9,325 you earn is taxed at a 10% tax rate. Now out of that amount, you're going to pay $932. The next incremental amount that you earn on top of that is $28,625. And only that amount, only that $28,000 amount is taxed at a 15% tax bracket. Now you can look at this chart kind of like a weird vase looking thing that goes up on one side and then on the other side it kind of curves outwards. And if you just fill it up with water, that's how much money you're going to earn. As you can see at the very bottom, you pay no taxes. And as you get to the second tier of it, you're going to pay 10% tax. As soon as you get to the third tier, you're going to end up paying 15% of that amount that you earn. And then on the fourth tier, you're gonna pay 25%. And then the fifth tier, you're gonna pay 28%. Now this resets every single year. So you can pour a little bit of money all the way at the bottom. That's what you earn. A very little amount, then you won't pay any taxes at all. So the less money that you earn, the less taxes that you have to pay. And every single tier that you reach, you're gonna end up paying a little bit more taxes. Now it's not gonna be taxed on the full amount, okay? Once you reach this 10, 15, 25% tier, when you're at 25% tier, that does not mean that you take your whole entire year's worth of earnings and multiply by that by 25% and that's what you pay. It's only the additional amount here. Now, why did I bring this up and just repeat myself just for this marginal tax rate issue here? It's because if you earn $37,000.950, you are at the 15% tax bracket. However, if you take just the standard deduction into consideration and don't add all these special deduction things, I'm just making it simple right now your effective tax rate is actually 11.8 percent it's not 15 percent so your effective okay that's the key point here is a bit less than the marginal tax bracket that you're in the point here is if you're at the 25 percent tax bracket if you put money into your Roth account you're paying the marginal tax rate on the full amount here the five thousand five hundred dollar that you put in you've paid 25 percent uh, tax rate for that amount. However, let's say you instead you put that $5,500 into your 401k. Instead, you don't pay 25% of taxes on that amount. And I know 401ks, you can uh, contribute up to 18,000, but let's just say 5,500 right now. So you can kind of think of it as saving 25% on your taxes right there. And then let's say you retire and you stay in the same tax bracket. That amount that you did not pay taxes on, it's gonna fall all the way to the bottom tax bracket. Therefore, you're not gonna be paying taxes the full 25% on that amount that you put in your 401k. If somehow in your retirement, you're able to take in more income than before you retire. Now this is really hard because you would have to had a lot of passive income coming in. Maybe you have some business where you, somehow, let's say you're more successful somehow and you bring in more money and you jump to the next tax bracket. Even so, you're only going to pay at most 23.6% effective tax rate. So even if you jump to the next tax bracket during retirement, you're going to pay less effective tax than if you contributed to a Roth IRA now. So whatever tax bracket you see now, people are concerned that it might increase by one whole bracket. Maybe it'll go up to like 10 more percent for every single bracket. And in that case, it might be better to put it in the Roth if you think the marginal tax bracket it's going to jump up more than one whole bracket basically so to summarize the amount that you put in your 401k you save at your marginal tax rate which is 25 28 percent however by the time you take it out it's going to be taxed at an effective tax rate not at the marginal tax rate because when you're contributing for a 401k you're kind of skimming off the top 
The top is where all the highest taxes are being paid here. So if you reduce your income from whatever amount uh, to a little bit less, right, that top amount is, is at the tax bracket that you're paying at. So there's a lot of uncertainties here, especially with the government. People would just rather contribute a little bit to a 401k and a little bit to a Roth. There's no set rule with which one is better, but if the tax system stays exactly where it is, it's likely better to contribute to a 401k rather than a Roth right now. I hope this was informative for you in where to put your retirement money first. Don't forget to give me a like on this video, comment down below. Let me know if this helps you decide where to put your retirement money. If you're interested in supporting this channel, don't forget to check out my Audible link down in the video description below where you can get a free audiobook and if you don't like this audiobook or the service, you can cancel it before the subscription expires. And then in this whole ordeal, you don't have to pay a thing and you can still keep the audiobook and help benefit this channel. If you're interested in supporting my channel directly, I have a Patreon over here where I give various perks at various contribution levels. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel over here and click that bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you get a notification whenever I upload a brand new video. Thanks for watching.